you can create content for your Instagram, but if you want to create content quickly and easily that really pops and gets attention, as well as creating a more aesthetically pleasing Instagram feed, Canva is exactly what you need. This week, I'm going to show you how to create three Instagram posts, schedule them to automatically post, and do it all in less than 10 minutes. Canva to create the perfect Instagram that's 100% your personality with a beautiful feed while you use it for your business or personal brand. Creating an Instagram post in Canva is super fast and easy. From the home page, click on the social media icon and then you're going to click on the Instagram post icon. Your artboard will open and there will be tons of templates that you can look through and get ideas from or you can grab one of these and 100% customize it. And I recommend that if you want to create a specific look for your Instagram feed, you decide on your color palette ahead of time and stick to those colors. If you're using Instagram to promote your business or personal brand, make sure that you stick to your brand colors. Now, I use my brand colors for my YouTube channel on my Instagram, so that's what I'm going to use for this tutorial. And I'm going to create three posts. One, a November themed post. Two is going to be an inspirational post. And three is going to be an information did you know post. So to get started, I'm going to go on and add my pages. And I'm going to come back to the first page and I'm going to set my color background so that it's on brand. And then I'm going to go to my graphics that I want to use. I'm going to add this graphic and get a little bigger by pulling on the corners. I'm going to go to position and click center and middle so that it's right in the center and middle of the post. And then I'm going to go to the text tab. I'm going to add a heading, pull this up to the top, put in what I want it to say. And then I'm going to change my font to something a little more sweet to match the graphic better. I'm going to change the color so that the text is on brand too. And then we're going to stretch this out. Control D to duplicate. And I'm going to bring this down to the bottom and type in what I want this to say. And I'm going to go to position and it's right in the center. I'm going to go to, back to the top X box. I'm going to click position, I'm going to click center, and then I'm going to go to effects. I want to curve it, and that's too much curve, so I'm going to stretch it out a little bit, give it just enough, and I'm going to pull this up just a tad, just a smidge, just the curve a little bit more. There we go. Okay, and there's my November themed post. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new tutorial is published. So for my next post, I'm going to go to element and grab a square. And I want this to take up almost the whole post, but I want to leave a white border. Stretch this out. That looks good. And I'm going to change the color so that it's on brand as well. Then I'm going to go to position and center and middle. And then I'll go back over to my graphic. And for this one, I actually have a graphic that I'm going to use. Pull this box in. I'm going to stretch this out by pulling on the corners. I'm going to go to position, and I'm going to go to center and middle. I'm going to add this graphic. I'm going to scoot it right up to the corner. Shrink it down. And then I'm going to control D to duplicate it. And I'm going to bring it to this side. And I'm going to flip it horizontally. And then scoot it right into the corner. And then we'll control D again and bring this down. We're going to flip this one vertically and slide it right into the corner. Control D again, bring it over to this corner, and we're going to flip this one horizontally and then slide it into the corner. Now I'm going to add some sparkly gold stars. Shrink this down just a little bit. I'm going to give it a twist and put this up here. And there we go. And then I'm going to control D, pop this down to the bottom. I'm just going to swing it around. And that looks about right there. And then I'm going to add this 
this gold starburst as well, but I'm going to shrink it down so that it's more like a star. Add one here, control D, add one over on this side, but I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to control D for the smaller one, one over here, go back to the larger one and control D and add one at the top. And then we'll control D on a small one and add it right about there. And there's my inspirational post. So on this page, turn this one back to white and I'm gonna go back to my graphic. I'm gonna add this graphic, shrink it down just a little bit and put it right about there. I'm gonna change the color so that it's on brand. And then I'm gonna control D and duplicate it and drop this right below it. Go back to this one, control D and I'm gonna pull it over to this side. And I'm going to flip this one horizontally. I'm going to control D to duplicate it. And I'm going to bring it down to the bottom and just get it lined up. So that one is now lined up and you can see by the purple lines, the dotted lines. So it fits the one across from it and it fits the one below it. So we're perfectly lined up. Now I'm going to go back up to elements. And I'm going to add this box, shrink it down. And now I'm going to change the colors and make them on brand as well. Then I will control D and duplicate this and I'm going to bring it over to this side. And then I'm going to add the Canva element logo. I'm going to put that about right there for now, a little bigger. And I'm going to go to my text box and I'm going to add a heading, put in what I want it to say. And I'm going to stretch out this box to about where I want it. Then I'm going to go up to the font size and I'm going to increase the font size. It can go just a little bit more, put down one more, and then we'll make our Canva element a little bigger so it stands out nicely. Now this we're gonna position right in the center. We're gonna go back to the text box and set the text to an on-brand color. So I use this color and then I go to effects with a shadow and I use this color in the background and I shrink down the offset right there. And this needs to come down just a smidge. So now we've created our three posts and it's time to get them set to share. So we're gonna to go to the share button. We're gonna choose share on social. We're gonna choose schedule. We're gonna choose our day and our time. And then we need to change this to AM. We're gonna click next. We're going to select a channel so just page one and then we're going to write our caption and then we're going to add an emoji so we're going to right click on the mouse and click emoji add your emoji and then you can add your hashtag and then we're going to click schedule and now you can see that the design has been scheduled. It's set to my Instagram channel to post on Friday, November the 11th at 9 a.m. So now we're going to schedule the second Instagram post. So we're going to go back to share. We're going to go to schedule. First thing we're going to do is change the date and time. We're going to set the date on November 18th at 9 a.m. Now we're going to click done and we're going to change our caption. Now I'm going to add the emoji and go back to the happy face. And I always think of this one as my little nerd face. All right. And add your hashtag. All right. One more. So we're going to save and schedule. And now it's been set. And now it's time to set our third one. So we're going to go to share, share on social, schedule. We're going to change our date, make sure the time is what we want it to be. And we're going to click done and type in our caption type in our hashtag and then we go back up here and add my emoji and I'm gonna click save and schedule and now it's set so we've just created three Instagram posts scheduled each one on different days with captions and emojis and hashtags and we did it all in less than 10 minutes I hope you found this tutorial fun and helpful please be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any tutorials you'll also find a link in the description to get on the waitlist for my new design boss Academy 
Academy Canva courses. These are going to be in-depth Canva courses to learn it all with different class options available as well. You don't want to miss this, so be sure to get on that wait list now. And of course, I'll leave the link for the free 30-day trial of Canva Pro, which I highly recommend, especially if you want to use the content planner and get those insights on your social media posts. You can also find a link for my 223 Canva Elements Keywords ebook. It will really help you find some amazing hidden element gems. I'll be back with another tutorial and until then, make it a wonderful week and enjoy your Canva. Thank you.